and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode eight of Fargo. This episode is called Lop Lop or Lop Lop or Low Plop or Low Plop. I don't know how it's pronounced. I hope someone says it in the show, but whatever, we're going in. So last episode was absolutely fantastic. Simone is dead. Betsy is dying. We've got a little bit of a question around what's going on in Hank's house with all the numerals and that sort of stuff and the symbolism. Dodd is in Ed and Peggy's trunk, I believe, in their car. Um, Charlie's still in prison. Floyd's made a deal with the cops. Mike Flanagan was done. Mike Flanagan. Oh, it's the haunting of Hill House. Mike Milligan saw off the Undertaker and his henchmen in zero minutes. Just gone. So Mike is now kind of a, a kind of lone ranger in this situation. I guess he's if he's got any hope of getting back in with the boss. I'm guessing he's going to really need to take out the Gerhards and come back with something big. Otherwise, he is toast. And the thing I loved about that scene, which I didn't I didn't say during the reaction for the episode, was that <laughs> the Undertaker says something like, um, like, where's the eggplant? Like, who's so useless or something like that. And, <laughs> and Mike is actually in an eggplant suit. We call it aubergine over here, but his like purple of um of an eggplant or an aubergine. So that was really funny. It also made me think of this. Good. And the penguin goes, he's not an eggplant, he's retarded. It's fucking funny. Please just know. At the just now for crust on your head make me get a but yeah i think that's it for the recap i'm i'm ready i'm ready to see how this comes together obviously it's only episode eight so i'm prepared that maybe we won't get the final showdown until episode 10 but you, you just never know with these shows where the high watermark is going to be and that's what keeps us on our toes certainly with this series i've not known what's it's managed to surprise me over and over and over again which is my favorite thing when i'm watching a show is not to know what's coming <sighs> i'm ready for this episode now let's have at it we're getting the flashback to what happened in the aftermath Have you actualized fully? What the fuck? Oh my god. Do you understand the difference between thinking and being? I... To be is simply to exist. Try it. Think or be. You can't do both. Whoa. Peggy. Don't think about the person I want to be. Just being that person. Peggy, are you okay? We were just talking and, and it all finally makes sense. This lady has lost her mind, brother. Shut up. She's seeing people who are not there. I said shut up. And here I am tied up for no reason. A, a concerned citizen just <laughs> walking past and I, and I hear her cry for help. No, you're a Gerhardt. And you're shit on my shoe. Why don't you come here, let me wipe you off. Yes! Mm. 
Oh my god. Shot. Got another. Gerhardt's, I'm thinking. No sign of her Peggy. I'm calling a medic. Yeah. Probably a good idea. This is just embarrassing. Oh, man. I'll get an APB out on the Gerhardt boys and uh, see about starting to hunt for Ed and Peggy. Don't, don't tell Betsy I'm down. Yeah, she scares me more than you, so. I'm gonna call. <laughs> oh god, Hansy, fucking hell. Oh shit. Shit. I bet you can't wait, Constance. Filthy. <sighs> I've just been doing it all wrong. Both of us. You make a trade. Learning things, what pretending I'm to be something we're not. Selling their man back to him for freedom. It's like when you're a kid and, and you mm. need permission to go to the washroom, and and you raise your hand and wait for the teacher to call on you. But meantime, you just have to go. That's so bad. I should have looked at his wallet. But you just go. You know exactly who we're dealing with here. You just go. Why? You don't ask. Sure. You just go. Not trapped anymore. Why? I mean, that was our home. Yeah, but I mean, right? e energy-wise, you know? I mean, you gotta admit, we were stuck in the mud. Emotionally, I mean. And then now, we're flying. We, we got a plan. That's what matters. We, 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 we got a plan for how to get out of it. We're actualized. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> come here before he said uncle grady smelled like athlete's foot remember hon what in case he gets feisty no. oh! No. <laughs> good thinking hon. you're dead in case you're wondering you and your whore. Zip your lips. God, get hurt. I'm gonna have fun taking her apart. <laughs> no. I saw a little convenience store up the road. Gotta go make the call. What are you gonna see? If we give them back to you, you gotta promise we'll go unmolested. What if they say no? Well, then I'll show them which part's the flank steak. Ooh. I tell you what, he might not have actually been the Butcher of Laverne when this thing started, but by the end of this, he is the Butcher of Laverne. Wow. Shit, Tansy! Yeah, uh, it's, uh... Is this the Gerhardt headquarters? Well, this is the Butcher. And uh, I, I need to talk to who's in charge. No, not your butcher, the butcher. Yeah, from Laverne. So let me talk to who's in charge. I got Dad. Hmm? What do you mean, a message? Don't they? I mean, I got Dodd. Did you tell him that? Just, just tell him I'll call him back, okay? Who the hell was that? Phone. Oh. Take a message. You're gonna wanna take this one, bro. Prick says he knows what Dodd is. 
kill him. Take the message. <laughs> Bear could care less. What's on the other shoe now? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, now that's just rude. <laughs> I got four daughters, you know. I'm not a bad guy. You call me a whore. I heard. I swear to Christ, when I'm free, you're gonna see the back of my hand. Spending some time together. So you need to be civil. Go to hell. <gasps> Ow! Bitch! Bitch! <laughs> what did I just oh see? You gonna be nice? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Oh. Oh. Good. Now I'm making beans. You want some beans? No. No what? No, thank you. That's better. Fucking yes, Peggy! Oh! Positive Peggy is what they call me. <laughs> What happened to him? Oh, well, no. We don't need to talk about that, do we? Water under the bridge. <laughs> Did you stand for us? Yes. No. Yes. I mean, I had to teach him some manners, is all, if we're going to be spending time together. She's crazy. Keep her away from me. <laughs> I deleted a message. Well, you, you said we had him. Yeah, but it, it was just like a funky or something. That's why I said I'd call back. Okay, well, maybe there's... Sounds like there's a war going on up there. Maybe they're busy. Have some beans and call back. They'll be home next time for sure. And you gotta stop stabbing him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is brilliant. The disrespect. I felt that for Hansi. I felt it. Oh, he's spitting it. Oh. Did you just what? <sighs> Kill him. Tequila. Pour in front of me. Looking for a couple. Red-headed man and a blonde woman. Driving a blue Lincoln. White couple? Didn't you guys try to start your own country a while back? Wounded knee? What happened there? Didn't you feel like being American anymore? Mom. From there. Yeah. See, well, I'm not sure I want to serve alcohol to a man who doesn't want to be an American. Oh, fuck off. How about a man who did three tours in Vietnam who's got a purple heart and a bronze star? Who? You? You're welcome. Me, oh my, oh. Where are you going, Geronimo? Huh? You gonna grab your bow and arrow there? <laughs> I don't think his teepee's here. No. <laughs> Go for it, Hansie. What are you doing, buddy? Just want a glass of water. 
<laughs> oh shit, bird's thirsty. Get a load of that. Is he crying, Earl? I think he's crying. <laughs> huh? Ah! Oh. Ah! I want to see him cry. I call the cops. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Bye. Let the guy who's still passed out is going to come round and be like, what did I miss? Freeze, coaches. Two guys he killed that they were on about in the last episode. Shit. Excuse me, your lordship, I gotta go to the giant. Oh, I, I can't risk untying you, not after before. Yeah, but I'm gonna pee in my pants in a minute here. Hunt, you're gonna have to help him with his pants. Hey, I'm gonna open your drawers. Okay. I can't hold it. Come on. Well. Yeah, don't, don't pee on me. I'm, don't, I'm, I'm helping you out here. Don't yeah, look at I'm me. Out. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go make the call. You'll be okay? Affirmative. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Oh, Shabley. Oh, Constance, she fucking twat. Hey, doll. I got some shabley oh, no. on ice. Oh, no! Bye, Constance! <laughs>